Uh, my name is Jason Smith. I'm the director of Geelong Gallery. I also happen to be the curator of this exhibition, Jackie Redgate, Hold On, which is associated with the now postponed Photo 2020 International Festival of Photography. Uh, we worked with Jackie over the course of 18 months to produce this brand new body of work. It's 12 photographs, two metres by two metres each. Jackie is one of Australia's most critically acclaimed photographers and she has a, an art practice spanning 40 years. She emerged uh, out of the South Australian School of Art uh, and her work was influenced by feminism and, and late modernism. But she studied sculpture, but also studied photography and cinematography at the same time. So there's a sculptural quality to so much of her work. But really since about 1998, she has worked predominantly with photography. And certainly over the past two decades, she has worked almost solely with mirrors and light throws and the phenomena of what she can capture manipulating light and mirrored objects in the studio. This new group of works, Hold On, is remarkable in Jackie's recent practice because to this point, she has made over the past 10 years works that are resolutely abstract. And we can see aspects of that abstraction in the backgrounds of these photographs. What she's done in this new series of works and what she's slowly done over the last few years is contaminate the objective geometries of her backgrounds with dolls, teddy bears and toys, some of them from early in her childhood. And she's revisited certain subjects in her previous work, more biographical work. This is Hold On number eight. And we could talk about each of the works in the series for quite some time. There's a lot to unpack in each of the works, full of signs and symbols and, and images and objects. But here we can see how the mirror adds such a pictorial dimension to the works. It opens another space within the picture. In the pink mirrored reflections, for instance, reflecting the coloured backdrop, they are more redolent and reflective of Jackie's recent abstract works. This work also reveals Jackie's long-term interest in the work of Dare Wright. Dare Wright was an American photographer and author who in 1957 uh, wrote a quite famous book, The Lonely Doll. The Lonely Doll was a little doll called Edith, and in the story, she befriends two teddy bears, a father teddy bear and a little child teddy bear. Dare Wright used a doll and two teddy bears in a range of scenes and tableau that she photographed. Sometimes they're unsettling, sometimes they're very comical, uh, sometimes they're very much of their time in relation to gendered relationships between men and women. So there's a lot going on in the stories. Uh, and Jackie's been fascinated by that level of arrangement. Uh, and so here we see the teddy bear and the doll. This is a kooky photograph. The doll seems to be levitating off the seat, uh, but it's a, it's a very beautiful image again, uh, reflecting both her biography, uh, her interest in Dare Wright, uh, and the way in which the formality of her abstract works has been contaminated by these images and objects from, the from her childhood. Jackie hasn't produced her photographic images on fabric before, so this is a new dimension to the work. And the fabric suits some of the subject matter in the images themselves, the hand-knitted costumes for the dolls and the teddy bears, the ironing board cover, the way in which she has constructed small rooms using found bits of fabric, etc. So there's a natural correlation between the fabric as a support for the photographic image and some of the content within that image. In the 1980s and the early 1990s, Jackie took photographs, but she also developed quite substantial sculptural installations. These tested our perception of objects and space generally. Here in the works for Hold On, she has constructed these arrangements in her studio. So there's a sculptural quality to the work even though it's now in two dimensions. But the fact that she's printed them on fabric, hand stitched the top and the bottom of them to look like large handkerchiefs, for instance, that brings them back into the realm of sculpture. So there's a lovely duality between the sculptural situation, the installation format overall, uh, and the photographic image. This is hold on number four. I'm 
constantly drawn to it. I love the works in the series. This, for me, is a favourite. I think it's got something to do with the centrality of the doll at the ironing board. The images are full of quirks. Jackie's got a great sense of humour. They're very carefully composed images. There's not a thing out of place in them. There's a formalist quality to them. That helps uh, project some of the more interesting, mysterious content of the arrangement of the objects. Jackie's a twin. So in many of the works we find twin dolls or we see a doll reflected once or twice in a double mirror or a, or a single mirror. So we see the mirrors, we see the arrangement of objects very precisely organised in space. Uh, but for me, this has a, uh, a quality of almost perfect compositional balance. And I suppose that's why I'm drawn to it. In many of the other images, as you will see, uh, there is a, an accumulation of characters all embarking on some kind of little adventure or narrative. There's a story in each one. Nothing prescribed, but this for me uh, has a quietness about it uh, and is probably why it's one of my favourites. I think too, uh, Jackie is a wonderful colourist. We see a lot of colour through each of these works. Uh, and here, I, the restraint of the white background in contrast to the variegated coloured backgrounds throughout the series uh, helps me, I suppose, establish um, a very formal composition uh, as my eye travels around this really very beautifully detailed um, work from the series. The architecture of the photographs is interesting because they come out of a fold, a literal folded space in Jackie's studio. So the arrangements are constructed in that fold and they, they project outwards. So it could be like peering into a doll's house or into a form of architecture as uh, unusual as it might be. There's something uh, mysterious about the images, even though they're full of objects and things that we recognise, but brought together in these sometimes very amusing arrangements sometimes unsettling, strange little dolls, spooky little dolls, teddy bears from one's childhood. In these constructed narratives, there is an element of mystery and brought together as a whole and one's journey, out, out, the viewer's journey around this exhibition really gives a sense of gestalt and, and gestalt means that everything is bigger than the sum of its parts. So it, it, there's an air of mystery about this installation, which I find absolutely fascinating.